Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I am working through the By the Well for God kit, follow me, and I'm working on day one. And I am journaling in St. Mark, and we're looking at St. Mark chapter 1, verse 18. And it reads, And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And that's the King James Version. I want to quickly jump over to the ESV Version, and I want to read that translation for you as well. And immediately, they left their nets and followed him. This was Jesus offering an invitation to his first set of disciples to follow him. And they immediately went with him. They left everything behind, their jobs, their families follow someone who they don't know. They may have heard about him and and the role he was to play as their savior. Now with this invitation, Jesus was showing what Christianity was all about. Following Jesus. As it was then, the same is today. He is still offering that invitation out to you, to me, to all of us to follow him. I love the questions that were asked at the end of day one. They were, can you imagine yourself in a position where you would leave your life and follow another? The second, what would it take for you to do this? And the third question, what might have influenced these original followers of Jesus to do so? What would have been your response to these questions? When I saw this kit with the beautiful images of the cherry blossoms, I knew I wanted to recreate a picture that I painted in my journal last year of a cherry blossom tree using acrylic paint. When I first started, I really was not sure how it was going to turn out. But in the end, I'm pretty pleased with what it looked like, like. I started out by applying some Distress Oxide to my background. Then I took a pencil and I loosely traced my trunk and my branches where I would want them to go. I then painted in the trunk and the branches with some brown acrylic paint. Then I got my Q-tips, I got a bunch of them, eight, and I held them together with a rubber band. And then I just started it dotting the colors. I used red, white, a light shade of pink, and a darker pink. And I just alternated those colors until I liked how it looked. There really was no rhyme or reason. Again, some places were lighter, some places were darker. I was just going for different shades of pinks to mimic um, cherry blossom tree. I typed a quick prayer on one of the journaling cards and went ahead and add some finishing touches.